Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm having a fun with my toys. I call them my toys. And the reason I want to talk to you a little bit about this is uh, equipment. Uh, different kind of equipment, you know, that you can use in prospecting, looking for gold. And the uh, reason I'm uh, using all this different equipment is if I don't try it, I will never know. Do you know that? If I don't try it, I will never know. So, <laughs> I'm testing all type of different equipment. I love it. And uh, this one is my new adding to it. This is a called electromagnetic field detector. Cause two spikes go in the ground, two antennas, and a whole lot of that cause DVD and uh, all the book comes with it. Very affordable. It's not too expensive. And um, it is um, a good, good little toy. And uh, not only toy, it's it's a real machine. This one, you say you you switch it on, like I do it now here. See the switching on, right? The light is on. Of course, doesn't have no antenna, and then it starts sensing the um, antennas. Of course, you got a different settings. You got a settings for, you know, vertical. You know how deep, um, how long far you want it to go with it, all this here with the vertical, then down here you got a, or, or that's, this is vertical here, <coughs> this one is a vertical here, and so wherever you set it down, uh, whatever depth you want, how deep you want to uh, go with it, uh, you, you just turn the dial and uh, go on it. And of course, this one is, uh, you know, horizontal, uh, so the distance you want to go with it. Of course, up here, it's got a frequency as well, you know, the call frequency in the detector. Where well, you set it up on a frequency you want. Uh, it's got, this one has got a, a little bit different than uh, my radar. It's got a six different frequencies. And the cause, uh, as you can see, I set it up on a gull day. And that's how I muck around with it. It is very affordable machine, and uh, I'll switch it off because it's not necessary running in here with that and um, equipment without any, you know, the rest of it connections to it. And of course, this one here as well is the same, the same thing heap unit where you connect your antenna. The little antenna goes here. Then a big antenna, them here, they go, say, up here, and of course your headphones down here. So you know what kind of a, and of course the charger is there. So once you've got your headphones on, you then you know in what direction is your signal, you know, to look for it. Anyway, um, it's not necessary to run it on, just to show you a little bit about. That a lot of people say, the, why you do this? Why not? Why not? Why shouldn't I do it? Why should I just go with that primitive detector? And of course, I'm uh, just looking this in one way how to advise people who they like to adventure into different things. Now, of course, this is my other radar, you know, thing which I really increased and I uh, fixed up a distance for it. It's a very expensive device. Uh, the work that goes into it, of course, you've got to purchase the parts and things and a whole lot of that. But anyway, comparing that to this one, they are very similar to one another. And this one is very affordable. And the other one, you know, that I picked up, it's more it's expensive one. So, if you are an adventurer, and you like adventure and prospecting and things like that, and find things how it works, they say that the winding roads bullshit. 
I'll tell you that now. There are, there have been so many dams and water places never detect any water. Neither does this one. Does not detect any water or anything like that. But it picks up a gold. It picks up a target and stops on top of it. And you are one day why one day Montana's cross to one another. You know you're right there on top of it. It's right there next to you. And of course you carry your hip unit and they will signal you. And they call you set it up a whole lot on different frequency. There is a bit of advice on a DVD is not much good. Uh, I don't uh, follow that. And uh, the best advice they got it's in a book. And of course um, here you've got to read it up three four times before you really get through it to understand it. Okay, now I'm using you know that I use my 4500. And a plus another one I have inside, which is a macro deep hunter. You know, I hardly use it. I still use a DTEC coil. I think they are still the best coils anyway. Okay. So I use this. I've got a four of these things around. <laughs> when I go, I go with that one to find the target. Then I go with this one to rectify exactly where it is. And that, and this does rectify it as well. We find the bloody thing, I didn't believe it. One place I dig up two times for gold, just because of that one directed me to it, and I could not get the depth. Yesterday I tried this one, you know what? It tells me there's a gold there. <laughs> I still haven't got to the target. I haven't dig it out, it's still there. You take care there, this is Matt from Australia. Okay, just giving you a bit of a, not advice, if you like a different things, different detectors and all of that, why on the heck, use them. This is why we are here for, to use this material and things, you know, that they are around us. And this one looks very, very impressive. It's, and it's not, not too expensive, not, okay. Bye for now. <laughs>